Best ceviche I think I've ever had. It's a beautiful day in Oaxaca and we're going for a walk. But first, we need some food. Going for a walk in Oaxaca. Oaxaca. Going, going Oaxacan. So we are at La Cevicheria in Oaxaca. I got a little velvet soda, maracuya, which is passion fruit, my favorite. Oh, it is tart. It is delicious. Ooh, oh, that's nice. And ordered some ceviche and a little grilled squid snack. It should be coming soon. exactly what CBG should be. Tell that this is like really, really good quality, well made. Everything's balanced perfect. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow. Doesn't it like, just taste like quality? Oh my gosh. You know it's good when like, you don't even want to chew it. Mm -hmm. You just want to keep it in your mouth. You almost don't have to. Like, mm -hmm. the, the fish pretty much melts and like, oh my it gosh. does say here, they have the highest standards of quality. It's right on their menu, but it says they prepare it as you order it, so you have to be patient. But wow, this is worth the wait. I, I love this place. I just want to stay here all day. It's got it's onions. It's got pineapple in it, which sounds crazy, but it it really adds something to it. And then yeah, that creamy avocado and the oil. Oh my gosh, this is so good. If you've never had ceviche before, just forget everywhere else and just come straight to this place. Like. I, I have no words, that is the best ceviche I think I've ever had. For me too. And just from presentation to the taste to... It's just so artfully done. <laughs> I'm just... This is a food lover's dream. Yeah. And now we got some grilled octopus as well. Yeah, we did. Exception to the rule. <laughs> How good is that? Mm -hmm. Tasty, spectacular, marvelous. Mm -hmm. Flavor was good on its own, like the the non octopus part. But then with that the flavor. Well, there's even like boiled octopus in it. Bye. <laughs> Google this place like right now. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how this isn't like a six star in Google. That's the only thing I was gonna say. When you don't even need a knife to cut into this size of octopus, that's when you know it's been cooked to perfection. Yeah. And how fresh is that? Done. Video done for the day. We're home. <laughs> <laughs> Going to heaven. Bye. Okay, right. We need a minute to talk about that place. Oh, I think we'll be coming back for something else. We just want to try it because we were like, let's see, because we have some coffee and other things we want to do today, like right after actually. But holy smokes, that is the Oaxacan like gem. Wow, <laughs> you gotta come here. Like yeah. if you're into seafood, ceviche, just good food. Or, or, if, you wanna... or if you're not and you're looking to get into it, this right. is this is the place to do it. 
I know. <laughs> Wandering around after lunch here, we're looking for a cafe actually. And we came back to this neighborhood that we were in for Day of the Dead, and it is just crazy how different it is now. It's just so sleepy and calm. Just not so long ago, there was like a parade, and like every single cafe in these corners were filled, like mm -hmm. brimming, like seating outside even. And now yeah. you look in, and there's nobody in there. Yeah, music, decorations. It's like almost eerie. Yeah. You saw it's so lively and vibrant, and now it's like quiet and sleepy like it's nice but it's just yeah. such a juxtaposition it's crazy yeah especially when you could see some of the decorations left over from the big celebrations yeah just... the big party like right yeah, in the, the center <laughs> there or talk too much because they had Beatles playing in there the whole time <laughs> but the coffee oh, the coffee was really good but it looked like a tiny little space it's not really the type of place we wanted to go to we wanted something more open today but once we saw it we were like ah let's just go because it just looked like it was good and it sure was I got just like an iced coffee and this guy here <laughs> he got his um, frappuccino as he does and both drinks were great. We really enjoyed it and uh, I would recommend it. <laughs> we are ending our day. We just picked up some chicken, potatoes, onion, salsa, tortillas. What else? Well, weighs five pounds. There's probably even more than that in there. Five pounds, feels like it. But it's a whole chicken for 160 pesos. So that's gonna be dinner, it's gonna be Lunch. leftovers, dinner again the next day probably. We're gonna grill up some more veggies to go with it. The other thing I wanna talk about, the bus. The city bus actually, situation. The city bus is amazing. I don't know if they're launching like a new bus. It seems to be, it's super clean, it's new, it's called exactly that city bus and just like steps from our place takes you right downtown currently for free because I think they're just starting up oh, these dogs are going wild um, they're starting up this new bus it's normally eight pesos which is also incredible but as of right now um, because they're I think just launching it it's free so we get to go to and from our place for free previously it was costing us between 80 and 100 pesos to go downtown and back to our place. Twice that because it was that much one way. Right, exactly. But yeah, now it's free. And even if the bus is running, it's eight pesos each way, which is amazing. And um, yeah, super clean, super easy. The city bus drivers are so nice too. Brings us right home. Like, you can't beat that. We're going out again tomorrow for a little drink tour. So that'll be different. That's the end of the day. And we'll see you on the next, next one. one. There is so much. Wow. Literally a bag full of chicken. A bag of chicken. A bag, some chicken. Mm -hmm.